All right, so uh, this is going to be a Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to March 29th, 2020. <clears throat> and in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description. The description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase a search. So that being said, moving to the uh, tarot spread straight away for the week here. The first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Gemini, is going to be the uh, star card. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That is to be uh, the lovers. Then the next one, it does represent the challenges that you have to face and hopefully overcome here. That is to be uh, the, hy uh, the Hierophant. Followed by the fourth card here, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the King of Wands. Then the fifth card, it stands as uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. Uh, that will be the um, Emperor. And the last one that we have, which represents the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. That will be the Ace of Swords. Okay, so uh, quite an important one is what we do have here. Uh, the two main cards of the reading are a, a Major Arcana, and they are pretty significant Major Arcana on top of that. So first of all, we do have the Energies, and uh, that is with the Lover's card. So those Energies, it does depend what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at. They can play in many different ways. First, obviously, lover's card could be the energy of flirting. In any case, uh, the energy of the lover of the lover's card, it gives that very light-hearted uh, uh, communications and relationships in general with the people around, especially with those that you find there to your heart, that you do love and that you are, uh, generally you are taking up as a, a close person, as a, a very significant person. Additionally to that, um, as the energy, the lovers always refers to a decision making, which means energy wise, it is that throughout this week, whatever decisions you have to make, none of them actually are going to be uh, a decision that you will have to kind of like, uh, how can I say it, um, do the right or the wrong thing. There are, there, there are not going to be that kind of a decisions. There are going to be decisions in between, you know, what's, what you got to do, for example, and what you, what you want to do and so on and so forth. Therefore, there is no right or wrong choice. It is just about a personal preferences. So that gives you the luxury to kind of like structure or situate, you know, or in general to shape your situations the way you find them more appealing according once again to your criteria. Uh, either you're going to do them the way you have to or either you're going to do them the way you want to. It is entirely, entirely up to you. Those two things does not correspond with one another though. So <clears throat> we are going to have with those energies a bit of a, a internal conflict that you will have to struggle with. But so ultimately at the end of the day, uh, either of the unfoldment of those, uh, 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 the unfoldment of the impact and consequences of those decisions are not going to be negative at all. And uh, the, the last thing that the energy of the lovers gives you, Gemini, it is a... Um, being relieved from many of your concerns in a sense of that many of your concerns uh, or in generally will I, I could i can say that that these are problems you know many of your problems are simply going to be resolved on their own accord and that moves us to the general topic which is the star card um needless to say that the star card does, does represent a hope uh, many people say wish fulfillment not exactly. It is just the star card gives you the uh, the hope that your wish can become true in one or another way, but you are on a very early stage. Nonetheless, the star card as a situation, it does point that the, uh, the rough and really tough experiences from your current state that you are finding yourself at are almost over and they are going to end 
throughout this week, March 23rd to March 29th. Uh, what I like to say it is that the star, the star card gives you a sign that your um, cycle of a turmoil, whatever that turmoil is, is coming to an end. So if you are going through a turmoil romantically wise, that turmoil comes to an end. If you are going through a turmoil career wise, for example, you're struggling finding a job, that turmoil is coming to an end and you may have multiple ways or not just only ways but options available to start a job now <clears throat> as a situation the star card also points that you are going to have support from people around especially those that are loving you okay and not only just that but also it does speaks for a unfolding love so you can expect as well that should you have a romantic interest okay um, that's a uh, situation in between you two to uh, amplify or excel it is the word that i should use and if you are lacking romance should you seek for it such it is what you're going to find especially with the lovers as the azea energy card one uh, advice here with the with uh, the star card especially having it next to the lovers guys it is that you need to keep your ideals high meaning your uh, not your criteria, but let's say your expectations of how far you can get uh, grasping upon this new um, status that you are to accomplish throughout this week. So moving next is going to be the challenge that you will have to overcome here, and that is the Hierophant card. So challenging wise, the Hierophant kind of points that you should not look outside of the box. Okay, uh, in a sense of the, the Hierophant point that everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. Okay, you do not have to reinvent the wheel. You do not have to push or rush anything. Just to give you an example of it, you want to be in a relationship with someone, the Hierophant says that everything goes in the traditional way. Dating, talking together, you know, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sharing stuff among one another. I mean, experiences and also situations from the past, so you can get to know each other better. And only then you can make a commitment. You can't make a commitment before those things are actually reached their completion. So there are certain steps that that endeavor here with that is marked with the star card needs to accomplish. And without those steps, you cannot reach the fulcrum you are striving for and that will be the challenge not to rush your things through not to how can i say it not to um force if you will or i will use even no i'm not going to use that term because um <clears throat> the video could get more demonetized but uh, yeah to force the situation trying to um skip certain steps Another example here, okay, you are just starting a new job here with the star card. Well, the Hierophant points that there is a way or there is a lot of room for you to grow into the hierarchy of that job, but you have to start from the very bottom of it at the start, okay? And that being said, you will have to climb it based on your skills and based on what kind of a performance you do instead of hoping that you are going to start as a CEO straight away. Uh, so uh, what the Hierophant here says is a challenge is that things takes time, things takes effort, the things has their steps to be accomplished. And as much as you may find it boring, as much as you may find it unnecessary, it is what is required and you have to keep up with it if you want the star to manifest, which is your dream. Uh, next one, it is the gifts and the blessings that Taro is offering to you. So you do have an individual that it is cheering up for you. It is a uh, very big support of your behalf. So what is the gift and the blessing of that individual? It's going to, um, how can I say it? Maintain, I would say, your positive attitude and as well your um, eagerness to transform your ambition which is the star card here you know the ambition of being simply better and finding yourself in a better circumstances into a, a very powerful actions so that is someone who is always 
pushing you to do something about it, okay? To do something about this ending of an Europa turmoil, to start looking for a job, to start looking for a, a, a suitor to, to improve on your marriage, to improve on your relationship. That is someone who will be very happy about stuff around you, but they, they are doing it with the pure, um, with pure intentions. There are intentions which are purely out of goodness, if I may say it that way. And you may not like it, okay? Because you may find it frustrating. You may find it that um, it's just that person is kind of like a, a always on top of you, but they are doing it for your own good. And uh, you are completely free to take advantage of the gift of, uh, of the gifts and the blessings, or to completely neglect them, okay? But it's highly advisable here to really catch up the momentum because this is what that person gives you, a momentum. They are constantly pushing you forward uh, or kind of like mm, verbally uh, making you uh, determined to push forward with, uh, with your stuff. Okay, so, um, oh, well, uh, and one more thing, that is a person who is going to make you laugh a lot, okay? It's just, they may have that really... Uh, a fine sense of humor that uh, many others does not have as a trait and they can find uh, or, or reverse traverse excuse me a really bad and gloomy situation into something to laugh about uh, next one it is uh, how people are going to look at you what kind of impression are going to have into you we do have the emperor card so people are going to look at you as a, a very uh, how can i say it more like a, a determined person to sort the things out around okay to to get a grip upon your marriage for example and make it work to make to get a grip upon your career life and make it work to get a grip upon your life in general and make it work that is going to um first improve confidence uh, in uh, the confidence in those people towards you not to mention as well that uh, what was the word here um It's, it's not exactly reliability, but yeah, okay, so people are going to find you also reliable to do the stuff they are asking you to do so. And uh, people are going to see you someone who is denying failures and as well being in a depression. Just on the contrary, okay, people are going to see you as a person who refuses to accept whatever situation they're in and to uh, a person who is determined to make the most out of whatever the situation they are in and uh, the last one here which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you gemini we do have the ace of swords so ace of swords simply said uh it points that you have to be very sharp with your mind in the sense of that every single clue and every single um proof that you need is around you and if you kind of for, for just for a moment, okay, completely stop listening to your heart, but instead look the things through your mind, you will be able to systemize or rather like a uh, um, place and an accurate diagnosis upon every situation that you're going through, your marriage, your career, your relationship, uh, your interactions and etc, etc. Hence, you will be able to systemize as well the right approach into any field of that. For example, what I can do to kind of get a better job. If you look at the situation, not through your heart, for example, giving it an excuses, uh, placing yourself always as a victim and etc, etc. But instead, look at the accurate diagnosis, what you lack in general and how to improve on it in a sense of how to fill the gaps. OK. Uh, <clears throat> you have no problem to improve those circumstances and to find uh, more opportunities to start uh, to start working. Uh, if you lack romance, for example, that is about closing your heart to the misfortunate situation and look at it through your mind. You know, why you do not have a suitor? Maybe you are a complete, let's say, jerk. Maybe uh, you don't behave well. Maybe you don't know what to say. Maybe, you know, it's just that your interests are different. It's just identifying what you lack, accepting it, because nobody is perfect. We all lack something, okay? Otherwise, we all are going to be uh, happy and all going to be millionaires. 
but we are not sadly so uh, yeah we all lack something and here throughout this week it's all about identifying what you lack getting a grip on it maintaining the positive attitude through the gifts and the blessings of the person of um, knight uh, of king of wands who is going to cheer you up and push you forward harping almost okay understanding that there is a, a strict procedure that you have to go through in order to fill those gaps which is the hierophant and finally reaching up to the situation where your problem ends, you find your omens you kind of like find your job as well you do the well found, found decisions and you do have something to look forward to for the distant future so that being said gemini this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading checking out the description down below uh, is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and upon purchase within 24 hours i'm going to contact you via email explaining you how your reading is going to take place and now stay safe and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time until then bye